Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to VNB TV. I'm Bob the Veteran. And I am Heather the Blonde. Today we have a special for you guys. It took forever to find, but we did. We are trying now a vintage MRE for you guys from Bobby Zara when he served. And this is a flavor he lived. So when Bobby served, he served in Vietnam and they were called sea rations. Sea ration. Not an MRE. No. And this is a sea ration from what year? 1967? 68. This was one of his favorite flavors. Beans and Franks. So I'm guessing hot dogs because that's what we would call bean and Franks. 53 years ago. 53. This thing, I'm not going to lie, it smells old. The veteran smells better than this box. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to be held up as well, but <laughs> it smells as good as the box. And we're only showing you guys this. We're not opening it because it was his true favorite flavor. And it is... Turkey loaf. Turkey loaf. He used to basically run over people to get this out of the van or the back of the truck and in the shipments. I For one yeah. year, I ate turkey loaf. Well, we're not going to open this one yet. One day we will order one and we'll order it for you. But you will see us open and dry. <gasps> we're going to try this for you guys. Bitty. They didn't Bitty. have bags and stuff back in my day. They had cans. And to open the can, you needed a P38. Look at it's, how little. It's the can opener. It's like a scary knife. In we case used to we, we used to carry just one. We'd put it around our our uh, dog tags, and we would carry, see the little hole. Look how crazy! It does have a little spot for like a chain. And or the necklace. blade folds in. Don't cut off your finger. But that was that was how we opened the cans. We are so gonna try to open these with the P38. If we can't, we have our nifty uh -oh. can opener. Because I'm not, I don't know about that P38. It looks scary. We'll give a close up of the knife when we go to do it. We also have, as you guys can see, my phone is going to be here. It is going to get some close up shots, so I will edit them for the video. So you will see close up of what we are opening in these cans and dumping onto our plates. It's going to be awesome. All right, so let's first open the box. So Bob said that they would come on like a shipment with all these big boxes. They would come in a case. There'd be like 24 different ones. So I would go through and dig them all out until I found all my turkey loaf. <laughs> until he found this what he is, liked. This is what we got. We're so excited. We've already partly peeked got, in here. We've got some unknown toxic mold growing on the side of the box. <laughs> we have some leakage. I'm going to try not to touch that because... God only knows what it is. <laughs> Up to that. We should have probably had gloves. All right, so this one says it was apricot, it was apricot jam, and it was made in Los Angeles, California. Look at that. You can see what has leaked. You can barely kind of see where it says apricot jam. It just smells like old paper. If you found like a box of old paper. I don't oh. smell... Oh, I don't want to smell it. I don't smell rotten fruit though. Do it's I, not like rotten Do fruit. I get to make coffee now? Yes, can we I might as coffee? well make... We're going to make some coffee. We're not... <laughs> obviously, we don't know about the coffee that comes in here yet. So we are going to use some of the U.S. Emory coffees that you would get now in a packet. They're freeze-dried. I'm surprised that they didn't give us cigarettes. They, I thought that they usually gave us. I don't know, yeah, where you order one that comes with cigarettes. We're going to find it, though. We I could be them. wrong. I don't remember what I did yesterday, much less <laughs> 50 years ago. So. so there's no way to cook it. Toby apparently wants to see too. He's not trying. All right, so then we have this nifty can. You can tell where it's like eating away and rotten. There's also like a dent hole. I don't know. It says on the top of this that there was like crackers and cocoa powder. Well, let's I see. think. Let's open that sucker. He might be gone. There. I don't know. All right, so Bobby is going to. Show us this nifty P38 before he what cuts you did, off a you finger. See, there's a little notch in there where the blade is. 
you put that notch on the side of the can and then you just start going around the can. So if you really wanted to eat, it would take you probably 10 years. It seemed to me that I was a lot quicker than, oh, there we go. It was You're gonna cut your finger, that could be rusted. Don't do that. Yeah, we don't want rust. What in the world is that? I think this was once cocoa powder. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my goodness. If you can only. It smells like... I thought it would be like in a bag or something. I'm actually like shaking, holding this. Like it's actually really creepy. Look at that. Like, I think that was the cocoa powder. Is there anything know. underneath it? I'm that? shaking. Like, yeah. Okay. Don't touch it. Don't I'm touch not going to touch it. But we're going to dump it out. You guys... Don't touch. I kind of think something ate its way through this. Wow. I don't know. It looks like there's little holes. This was the outer coating. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. All right. Now what it came with, which there is also holes in it. So I'm guessing something did make its way through it. What did that used to be? I think this was the cocoa powder. Do you see me shaking? I'm shaking. That's me right now. What? This is what making is that me thing? nervous. Is that coffee? <gasps> so this thing on here says cocoa beverage powder. There's clearly a really funky looking hole. Wow. We have a napkin. We're gonna do this with a napkin. I Well, looking at our powder mix, I do believe you can see bugs. No. I think that's a bug car carcass. I think this is a bug carcass. How could a bug get in there? I don't know, but there are clearly mealworms, or at least, I don't know what a mealworm is. I think that's a mealworm. Oh. Yeah, they're definitely worms. Oh my goodness. Okay, it might be my fan. Some look like they're moving, but I think it's the fan. We're gonna go with fan. I'm very disturbed. There are clearly bugs in here. Can you see all those little worms now? You see them all? Look at those little white worms. It's a cocoa powder we're not having because there's worms in it. It's not happening. It's not happening. All right, see so, you. This nifty box, they kind of like pack it so perfectly where this thing had a cool little shell for it. I'm giving myself like the EBGs with the worms now. I'm starting to make myself itch. I really hope they're dead. Has anyone else experienced worms before inside of a vintage MRE? Tell us. Tell us. Okay, so I am going to open oh, what's called the fruit cake. There is no Don't evidence. Open. Couldn't we just tell them? No. There's no evidence on this can of there being any damage. It actually looks normal. And then it says on the top, fruitcake. This must have been a dessert. Like a fruitcake. It actually doesn't look as scary as the powder did. Crawling around. Yeah. 
All right, so again, I'll show you guys, and then you also see a close-up when I edit the video. I will edit it and show you guys. Oh. Okay, well, that actually doesn't look like what you oh, it does. not see in a fruitcake now. Like I may never eat again. Look at that. Soy like a fruitcake. Look at this. Ugh. It doesn't look like there's no mold. There's chunks of fruit in there. Ugh. And I think there's like what you would call a muffin wrapper. It looks like a muffin wrapper. I'm still disturbed about these worms that are on my tray right now. I'm having a really hard time with the fact there are worms on my tray. Okay. So we'll do close up over here. I can't believe you're touching that. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. It's not like. It actually smells normal. <laughs> not gonna eat it. Are you gonna open that? That plastic. Ooh, yeah. Here, why don't you open that? I don't want to. You should have that one. Aren't there like so different things in here? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see matches. I think it totally isn't that bad looking. We will we'll get this a little stand so you guys can continue to see the lovely muffin. So, I think we have uh, napkins. Oh, okay, so this one totally looks like or the maybe, napkins we get kind of now. I don't have the Maybe in the toilet world. paper. They look totally like the napkins we get now. There's just a little fatter. Ours is now more condensed. It's more condensed. Ugh. Well, I, have, I have no idea what is stimu dent. I think that's whatever's for your dental thing. Don't remember. All right, so it says on it that you cleans your teeth immediately after eating. You moisten in mouth thoroughly. Then you insert this thing between your teeth and it cleans your teeth and it stimulates your gums. So is it gonna be like maybe like a toothpick with dental on it? Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's whoa. You're supposed to stick that in your teeth. Look at that. That is I don't called remember that at all. This is a dental <coughs> stimulator. Maybe it used to be before you floss. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You you stick. Look at this. That's it's a bad. beachy. A what? A beachy. Oh my goodness, a beachy peppermint candy. That is cool. Remember beach nut? Maybe this is a beach. A beach. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. They're so little. They're little bitty baby girls. This nonsense. So this one says these matches are designed Just especially the, for damp climates. The new ones. They say. will not light when they're wet though, or after long exposure. So yeah, it's almost exactly the same. Oh, but these are like ooh. So like old school with the white tip. Let's see if they still work. It's a fit. Ooh, it's very brittle feeling. So this match is from. Oh, it's weird too. They put the striker on the inside instead of you flipping the book over to strike. So yeah, we're gonna strike it in. That's scary. You feel like you light all of them on fire at once. You can barely even hold it. Ooh, look at that. Totally still works after 50 something years. That is cool. <laughs> That's cool. I really, I really love jam, you know? And this would have been apricot. I think it would have been so good. All right, so again, you guys will get, I'll show you guys after. We'll do the close up and I will cut it in so you guys can see us opening this nasty can. I will say the can opener works beautifully. <laughs> Go, can openers. Ooh. Ew. There's still, there's still some juice in here though. <sighs> I really thought it was going to be a lot more dried out because of how it looked on the outside of the can. I can't get it off. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you ever see the movie The Blob? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm gonna show you guys now up close and I will crop them both in so you guys can get the two for angle. This was apricot jelly before it became whatever it became. Like, 
That was apricot <clears throat> jelly. It doesn't smell bad though, like that's what's oh. so funny. It doesn't smell rotten. All right, so the last thing we have is our dun -da -da, beans and franks. So they say they are beans and franks with a tomato sauce. Mm. Bobby used to like this. This was this was my second choice. This was his second choice in food. So let's see what Bobby enjoyed eating. Oh my goodness. It, that thing just went. It woofed. It woofed. Kind of scared some touched me. Bobby enjoyed eating. Oh my goodness. It that thing just went. It woofed. It woofed. Kind of scared some touched me. Oh, I smell tomato for sure. Ugh. It doesn't even smell bad. I'm kind of shocked. It smells totally like. Oh my goodness. That actually smells good. I am so beyond shocked. Smell that. It actually smells like beans. Oh, it does. It doesn't even smell bad. Like, I am blown away. Look at how monstrous that thing is. Yeah. All right, so let's see if we can get a scoop. Like, look, there's the beans. There's, like, they're so <sighs> big. Look at the hot dogs. Look at that. They're full of hot dog slices, though. Yes. All right, so we will. Choice number two. Move some of this over. Oops. And we will kind of give you guys a secondary view on when I dump it, if I can. Ooh. See. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yep, that's it. That's so crazy. And it totally doesn't... It... Well... Same. Don't do it. I know. When you smell it on the fork, it smells even scarier right now. <laughs> My coffee. I did not, thankfully. And then since I don't care for the US MRE sugar, the Russians have the sugar down. Go Russia. Look how big these things are. I love you guys for your sugar. You don't even know. The sugar is wicked. They jip us on sugar. Like, look it. Oh my goodness. You guys are wonderful. Come on, U.S., take a learn. Sugar. You run on sugar. Like, it helps. It helps. But oh my gosh, so out of everything, I would say this thing survived really well. Like, I don't know how it is still, it's still moist. Like, I mean, I can feel the dampness through it. It's moist still. It's not hard as a rock. I can squish it. Like, okay, I'll break a piece off you guys. Like, look at it. It totally just tears right off. It smells like raisins. Like, I don't know. The jam went bad. Powder though. I don't know how, but they made a feast on this. Like, they feasted on what was in here. Well, the can was damaged. Yeah, they had a field day. But this is so gross. So I'm going to show you guys the tray before we sign off and finish this. So you guys can see as well, even though you will get some zoom in cut. This is the cocoa powder that has worms in it right now. I don't know if like the camera will be able to get you guys a decent angle. I will zoom in and give you pictures. That uh, was scary, and especially that was our first can. It had me shaking. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us try a sea ration from Bobby's generation era when he ate them. He really liked this. They did not look like that when I was here. <laughs> I would have starved to death. Turkey loaf, but one day, ooh, I did make it now inside the juices. If I was unable to get the turkey loaf, yeah. I told you not to dangle in the... Yeah. That looks so gross. That's so nasty. Ew. This is very scary. Props to Nathan who can actually eat this. We're not going to. Yes. Scary. But stay tuned for more videos that we do eat. We will get a few more of these vintage that we will not eat. 
And then we have a few more surprises for you guys. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Comment below on if you would have eaten any of this right now. I kind of debated trying this. Maybe. No. I almost. But my stomach right now is like, please don't, please don't, please yeah. don't. I'm not going to. But stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.